what's up welcome back to my channel today I'll be sharing with you all a one brand drugstore makeup tutorial so the brand that I've chosen is Maybelline I was going through my collection and I noticed they have some really really killer products so I wanted to share with you all my favorites from the brand and also some brand new products that I've never tried before so if you want to see the look that I got using all Maybelline products then just keep watching guys so starting out this tutorial I've already primed my face I used the new Smashbox pore minimizing primer just because whenever I was picking up new Maybelline products that I didn't have for a full face. I forgot to pick up primers. So my face primer and my eye primer are going to be just the usual stuff that I wear. I use the Nard Smudge Proof for my eyeshadow base. And really quickly, I wanted to mention that I already went in with this Maybelline shadow and this is just an all over lid shadow in the color Soft Pearl. I put that on after, straight after I was done my eye primer. I've been really liking that technique lately of just really blending out the eye primer and then going immediately in with a white base. It really helps my shadows not to crease as much, uh, but the camera was actually out of focus whenever I was doing that, so that is what happened so far. I'm going to continue with this video, so. So now I'm going in with a crease shade. I'm going to take this cool brown color, and this is in the shade Cool Coca. Coco, Coca, however you want to pronounce that, and my e.l.f. blending brush that I always use, and we're just going to buff that into the crease, start building up some color. I don't know why, I'm just feeling more of a halo eye today, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. I think that'd be really pretty with the selection of shadows that I picked. So that's what we're doing now, just creating that nice halo eye, running some dark shadows on the inner corner and the outer corner, and keeping this section very bare except for the crease i did run a little bit of brown into the crease just because i feel like it pulls it all together i'm not going to go in with any deep brown in the crease but just a little something to make it flow nicer once we put the color on the lid Okay, now we are going to take this little IT Cosmetics brush and this darker brown shade, which is called Made From Mocha. And we're gonna put that in the outer corner and the inner corner. Just keep it as low as possible. Alright, now we're going to go back in with our e.l.f. blending brush and just blend that together. Just so there's no harsh lines. Run a little in the crease and then bring it back over here. Alright, now we're going to go in with our lid shade, which is this very gorgeous gold shimmery color, and it is in the color The Glow Down. So I'm just going to take this e.l.f. little shader brush and pop that right on the center of the lid. Hopefully we don't need a glitter glue or anything with these. This is a nice way to spice up like a neutral eye. Just change up your technique. Do a cut crease, do a halo, do whatever your little heart desires. I know that people have been doing this princess crown makeup recently, which I really, really want to try. All right, now we're just blending out the colors. 
so there are no harsh lines. Next, I'm gonna go in for liner. I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline. This is the Gel Eyeliner. I guess that's just what it's called. The Eye Studio. And this is in charcoal, so black. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take the little brush that they give you with it, just to make things simpler. All right, so this definitely isn't the right eyeliner to do a, ring, a wing with. So I think I'm just gonna pop up, pop on some falsies and call it a day. Oh wow, it's not doing anything in the center. Okay guys, this could have been a total fail. So this is definitely more of an eyeliner that you wanna use either on your bottom, like your tight to tight line or to line your waterline. This is not very good for the top of the top of the eye. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to follow up with the same thing on the other side just to keep the symmetry there. It isn't a bad eyeliner. It's just not the kind of eyeliner that I wanted for this look. We're going to work with it. We're going to move past it. I am going to zoom you all out and then move on to my face makeup. All right. So for foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. And I'm just going to take this on my beauty blender because I think that that would work better than using a brush for this foundation. So we're just going to open it. And this is a first impressions. Never used this before. This is honestly the product that like made me want to do this video because I just never tried a cushion foundation. I think it'd be really cool. So, oh, holy coverage. Did you guys just see what that did to my pimple that was on my face? Oh my gosh. So that was very easy and very efficient. I really like this product and the foundation coverage. It's A1. Like I am loving this. And I love the finish that it gives my skin. Oh, I just want more. I may have gotten a shade that was a little bit dark for me, but it's okay. All right, now we are going in with concealer. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Better Skin, and this is in the shade Ivory. I got the lightest shade because I'm really pale right now. The lightest yellow toned shade, I should say. I think there was one that was lighter than this, but I have a yellow tone, not a pink tone, so I made sure to get the Ivory one instead. I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender to blend that out as well. I just realized I didn't get a setting powder, but that's okay. I'm just gonna set my whole face with this powder and hopefully everything turns out okay. And the rest of my face as well. Oh, and this is the Maybelline Better Skin powder also. You guys know I love this powder. One of my faves for sure. I feel like I have to go in and touch up the gold shade in the center of my lid because it's not speaking to me. Whew, probably not gonna need bronzer today. Clearly I just went a little crazy with my colors today, but whatever. Okay, so since we are already so bronzed, I'm not gonna go in with a bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with these Maybelline Master Blush by Face Do. This is their color and highlight kit. And I'm going to go in with this one for blush, which is a very nice coral color. And then I'm going to use the highlight in the palette. I've never tried this highlight, so we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that it is good. I also picked up this highlight, which is the strobing liquid that I meant to try out, but I already put my powder on, so there's no going back for this one. I will be using it in a future video, hopefully, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I did pick this up for the sake of this video, but I did not try it. So, good job, Taylor. Okay, now for highlight, I'm going to go in with this little fan brush right here and go in with the highlight shade. Ooh. Very dusty. It's a very subtle highlight. 
as you all can probably see. Let's see if we can build it. It's pretty buildable, but it is, like I said, a very subtle highlight. It would probably be a lot prettier on darker skin tones. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Brow Pro Size Micro Crown. I believe this is brand new to Maybelline. They didn't have one of these before, but it's just like a regular brow pencil and then it has a spoolie on the end. So let's just go in and see how this is. So I believe this is deep brown. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but that's just the kind of shade that I would get, so. Okay, and that's fairly pigmented. Very good. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna take the first brown shade that we use as our transition color, which is in Cool Cocoa, and I'm gonna smudge that on the lower lash line with my angled e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. That powder actually didn't do too bad of a job of setting my under eyes. I am going to go on the lid one more time with that gold shade and just try to build up that halo eye color that I was going for. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this angled smaller eyeshadow brush, more dense, and the dark brown shade, which is made for mocha. And I'm going to put that right on the outer corner. Now I'm just going to take this little Smashbox smudger brush and blend out that line. Okay, now to set everything, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio. This is my favorite drugstore setting spray I've ever tried, so... I'm going to go ahead and apply false lashes and I'll be right back to finish up the video. I actually forgot to highlight my inner corner, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to take, just going to go ahead and take this soft pearl eyeshadow and put it in my inner corner and above the brow bones just to make everything better. I know I should have done this before I set my face, but I forgot to, so... Now I'm going to apply false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied some false lashes. I actually used the Ardell, these are the Demi, or no, these are the Wispies. So I went ahead and used these, I trimmed them up to fit my eye shape. And as you can see, it really ties the look together. You really don't notice the eyeliner as much. So if you ever mess up your eyeliner, that is a really good uh, tip. Just use falsies. I haven't worn falsies in so long, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it though. It just gives me life. So now what I'm going to do is go in with mascara to finish up this look. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. Okay, so that is going to be it for the eyes. Now I'm just going to move on to lips. I'm going to be taking I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Color Jolt and this is in the color Never Bear. It's just a very pretty pink color and I'm going to put that all over my lips and then this look will be complete. I'll have to let you guys know how I feel about this cuz so far it's okay. I'm not sure how I feel about the formula yet. So I'm just going to continue to wear this throughout the day and see how it does. That is really pink. So I think to tone down the pink a little bit, I'm just going to go in with my favorite Maybelline lip gloss. And this is in the shade Barely the Elixir Nude Illusion. So I'm just going to put that over it and hopefully it'll cancel out some of the pink. We're just going to go with it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me and also comment down below what you got down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and the rest of my videos. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, then go check them out. I would love that. I would love for you to stick around here 
and be a part of my little family. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.